High-resolution panoramas, sometimes called bubbles, provide the ability to pan and zoom to inspect a particular location. A single panorama, however, does not allow you to get an overview of a complete street. Zooming in to look further down the street exhibits severe foreshortening and loss of resolution. Jumping from bubble to bubble moves you down the street but still does not provide context. We present our system, which we dub Street Slide. As the viewer zooms out beyond 90 degrees, the view seamlessly transforms from a bubble to a multi-perspective panorama view of the street. Panning is transformed to translating, enabling efficient browsing of building facades. Zooming back in at any point puts the viewer back into the nearest bubble for further panning and zooming. Zooming back out once again and turning on black edges between strips, we can see the dynamic construction of the multi-perspective panorama. Dynamically aligning adjoining strips and keeping the central image always on top creates a flipbook style rendering that exhibits parallax effects as one translates down the street. As we zoom out, the field of view of the central slice narrows. The slices at the left and right edges retain their wide angles and those in between are adjusted. In the paper, we describe two projections. One is as perspective as possible, as seen here, where we attempt to create the view one would get from a distance. Note that the central region is almost orthographic. In hyperperspective, as seen here, the field of view of the center widens to accentuate the parallax and possibly better match our mental model of the street side. This is more obvious with bars between slices. Here, with the as perspective as possible projection, and here with the hyperperspective turned on. We conducted a study in which we asked users to find specific visual features, such as a storefront, as seen on the right monitor. For this task, Street Slide was found to be significantly more efficient than Google Street View, which only supports jumping between bubbles. Returning to Street Slide, we can see that as the view widens, the aspect ratio of the street side becomes wider creating unused screen space at the top and bottom. We use this space to add navigational and informational aids. The diamond-shaped turn signs provide affordances for turning to see the other side of the street. We leverage the bubble for this task by zooming into the bubble, panning 180 degrees, and zooming back out. 90-degree turns are performed in the same way at intersections. We also annotate the strip with street names and building numbers at the top. Clicking on a number takes you to that address. Finally, storefront graphics or logos can be displayed below the strip. Clicking on these takes you to the corresponding bubble and orientation containing that store. In the lower right corner, you see a mini-map. The center circle corresponds to the current location. Mousing over the map enlarges the size and scope of the map. Moving the center location on the map moves the viewpoint accordingly. Street Slide can have even greater impact when you are actually on the street searching for something. We have begun to port Street Slide to the iPhone and adapt the interface to the mobile setting. Whether at one's desk or on the street, Street Slide offers the ability to efficiently navigate within a local area. By combining 360 degree panoramic panning and zooming with dynamically adaptive multi perspective panoramas, Street Slide provides both an immersive and informative experience for exploring street side imagery and geolocated information.